welcome back my pre-k three and four year olds and kindergartners today we're going to create a self-portrait because I'm missing your faces it's been a while since I've seen you guys and I really want to see what you guys create because I know they're gonna look just like you I used a collage background with good old scrap paper right here you could use scissors to cut up pieces or to tear it or use it as is and glue and a paintbrush and you guys are pretty much experts with that glue and a paintbrush then we're going to draw yourself it doesn't have to be perfect it doesn't have to be in color it can be just black and white so it really contrasts and stands out from the bright background so let's get started okay boys and girls we're gonna start I would suggest um, using a piece of cardboard because when you start gluing down all of your fabulous scraps of color for your background your paper may start to wiggle and bend a little bit when we are in the art room we have little condiment cups that we put the glue in if you have a little cup at home you can do the same thing and it just prevents the littles from it's taking this glue and going to town and squeezing everywhere. They know how to use the paintbrush and apply some glue and apply a color or a piece of paper. You can go around the edges a little bit. Um, you can even put a little glue on the top and you're going to want to cover the entire piece of paper boys and girls so you don't see any of the cardboard behind it and these can be larger pieces they could be small pieces if you have one of those big hole punch the kids love they love when they find a circle put a circle right there so you're gonna fill your entire background. Now, if you wanna take the scissors and cut a crazy shape, you certainly can. You can overlap, but you're gonna cover the entire background and it will look fabulous when you're finished. So once you have your background all covered and your pieces are glue down nice and tight nice and snug as a bug we will start on our little self-portrait so let's put a little bit more glue on here and boys and girls miss mcmurtry is going super fast and i'm being a little bit sloppy so i'm sure you all can do a, a much neater job than i am and by the way, you all will laugh because I had to clean up my studio this morning because my big work table looked just like my normal desk in my art room. And those of you know what it looks like, it's pretty bad most of the time. So I have all of my surfaces pretty much covered and we can put this aside. You can also take some glue and go back and hit any of the little edges that aren't glued down all the way. You can even put a little bit of glue on top. Acts kind of like a Mod Podge. Mod Podge, it seals it up. Next, so there's my background. And make sure you wash your brush out because that will dry and no more brush. Phase two. I drew this with my left hand this morning just because I wanted it to look um, a little bit more elementary. And I'm gonna do the same thing. So I'm gonna start with a circle. However they draw their little rendition of themselves is perfect. Most of them will draw big eyes. And we always get eyelashes on tops and bottoms most of the time. Hair, who knows what the hair might look like ears. Uh, this one I put like a big uh, kind of shirt or a dress. We'll put um, a shirt on this one. So we'll put a neck on this one and maybe come out for some arms or some sleeves. I mean, come down I'm trying to make him look as 
three-year-old or four-year-old drawn as possible. Some of my three and four-year-olds can draw much better than this with their normal hand. And we could put shoes on this one. Now, maybe you put a stripe or two on here. Okay, ta-da. Now, watch them with the Sharpie. If you walk away, they will end up coloring the whole thing uh, with the Sharpie and it will not be recognizable. Trust me, we do this all the time. So then you'll cut your person out, your self portrait. And he, this one is a little tall. So guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna give him a little haircut. And then we're gonna glue your person, your portrait, right to the back. And there you have it. This is a great little keepsake for mom or dad. It's fun, it's simple, and the results are always perfect. So have fun, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.